So you're thinking about buying a home in Midlothian, Texas, and then you're going, wait, where is Midlothian? Is that in the middle of nowhere? Well, <laughs> I mean, if you live in Dallas, some people may think that Midlothian is in the middle of nowhere, but it's really not that far. It's just about 25 miles uh, southwest of Dallas, and it's not a bad area at all. Now, it's a little slower pace of life, a little bit more of that country feel, and definitely a blue-collar type of scenery down there. Cement plants and steel mills down there, kind of just that slower pace country type of lifestyle. And that's what we're going to cover today is go over Midlothian on the Google map. That way you can get a good idea and a feel of where it's at and what maybe you'll have access to if you decide to move there or you're maybe in the Dallas area trying to get out a little bit, you know, out of the city or you're just looking for more of that country vibe. We'll kind of cover all of that in this video. We'll get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Dallas, Texas and the surrounding areas like Midlothian, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in Dallas. My name is Levi, my business partner, Travis, and the team and I, we get calls, texts, emails every single day from people just like you and you and you and you looking to make their move to Dallas. We love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. Happy to help you make that smooth move to Dallas. So as I mentioned, we're going to be covering Midlothian today and let's uh, not wait wait any longer and just jump in the map and check it out. All right, so here we are. You can see Midlothian right down here on the southwest side of Dallas. Looks like it's out in the country and pretty much it is. You can see all the green space, of course, uh, undeveloped area all around throughout this area. And this is something we've talked about as well. You know, that's why I believe that home prices will continually be in check as far as not a tremendous amount of fluctuation, which you may see over the next few months or, or even the next year, because there's so much room for growth outside of Dallas. And people are willing to go ahead and come down to somewhere like Midlothian and buy a home for a hundred thousand dollar less because really you're only about you know 25 minutes 25 miles now you can see here i mean you got 67 as far as uh the main road that turns into well and my marks keep coming back that's okay so 67 will take you all the way into downtown dallas you'll see here right down here and then of course you got 287 which will kind of get you over into that pathway into fort worth if you want to go there so you have a pretty good midpoint as well so if you want to be or if you're working in Fort Worth or Dallas, you're really kind of in the middle there. So if you take a look at um, directions, which we'll just uh, go off of Google and then I'll tell you the reality of that. You can see here about 25 miles it says 27 minutes. Now, if you're going to actually be commuting into downtown Dallas or working there, you're going to have a little bit more uh, depending on traffic. I'd probably add an extra 20 to 30 minutes just in case, but always, you know, check the maps. And let's see if we look at Fort Worth, if you are considering that it's probably going to be a little bit further. Yeah. 28 miles. I mean, just uh, really about three to four miles more than it is to get to Dallas. You can head right up to 287 will take you all the way down into downtown Fort Worth. So Midlothian is that midpoint to where, hey, maybe you're working in Dallas and Fort Worth so therefore you need access to both and it's a great area to give you easy access and of course Arlington right up the road you can see 30 minutes to get to the airport so if you're going to be commuting to the airport you're right at 30 miles of course I'd add 20 to 30 minutes just in case of a heavily trafficked or if you're going during uh, commute times but you can see there it's really centrally located even though it looks like it's a little bit further off you're only a couple of miles more to get to Fort Worth from the Midlothian area so again we zoom down here a little bit more now the thing is is as I mentioned Midlothian, not necessarily the hustling and bustling area as far as things to do, much slower pace of life. As I mentioned earlier, there's three main cement factories and a steel factory there, which are kind of the staples of the job industry down there. Otherwise, you know, you're going to have a lot of small mom and pop businesses. You're going to have restaurants, places to eat, things to do. You're going to have your uh, retail stores and things like that. That's going to be the main employment down there. And then, of course, if you have some farm or some animals or anything like that, this is an area where you can have that just right outside of the area. And you're going to see that as you drive around Midlothian, you're going to see fields and fields and fields going in between, even in between some of these neighborhoods. So if you go from the downtown area into some of these neighborhoods, you'll pass just like these areas right here. You come over here, you're just going to see fields throughout here. You're going to see some cows and cattle and things like that. So it, it's all kind of scattered throughout there. But over here, there's some new construction going on over here. Actually, if you haven't seen yet, our full 
vlog tour on Midlothian. You'll want to check that out. We take you in a couple of these neighborhoods, show you the new construction over there. We take you to the downtown area as well. Oops zoomed a little bit too far in there. Take you to the downtown area so you can kind of see the old historic place. But if you come down here, Twisted Sisters Tap House, you know, so there you go. That's a cool little bar area. You got Big D Barbecue. Uh, we talked about that a little bit in the vlog. You got Campuzano Fine Mexican Food. And then on this back side over here, you have like the coffee place. Uh, let's see, Woodrow's Coffee and Events. That's on this back side. So if you come around, you have the main street, like right here on 8th Street of that whole area. And we show you that in the vlog tour. And that's kind of where we started out. So a lot to do right around in this area, right off of Main Street. Of course, anytime you hit up the Main Street, you'll find pretty much the old historic parts of the area. So you have some a variety of restaurants and the and the bar over here you've got the newton cabin you know built in 1848 the original structure is still standing over there so you have a nice little downtown park if you want to check that out and then they have some new construction over here jimmy's pizza and pasta a couple little spots over here where they built that area up a little bit more so some development happening around there and then you just have your other regular mom and pop restaurants and, and things like that you got some parks scattered throughout here as well and that's going to be the main thing going on right there. You can see right down here, you have Midlothian High School right there. And that is uh, one of two. And so you got the middle school, or at least one of the middle schools right there as well. You got your, you got your Mickey D's, uh, Fuzzy's Taco Shop. I, I think I mentioned that, right? No, I mentioned that, and I think in another video, but Fuzzy's, not a bad place for some, for some tacos, pretty good. Uh, you got some Thai food over here. You got your Petco, Jersey Mike, Chili's, uh, Kroger, your grocery store, Chick-fil-A. So you have all the comforts of home. I mean, as long as you got Chick-fil-A, <laughs> right, you should be good to go. Chick-fil-A and Chipotle, right? Those are the two main things you need uh, around you or in the neighborhood. But that's going to be the main portion of it right there. Again, as I mentioned, you have some new construction happening over here. There's the other high school over there, the Heritage High School. And you have some new construction also down here. Oh, and there's your Starbucks. So don't worry. You do have Starbucks, even though it's a smaller country town, but something to consider. So they have pockets of new construction happening all throughout Midlothian. It's going up and that's what the draw is right now to Midlothian. Again, is because you can get a really good size home down there for 50 to 100,000 less than what you may find in Dallas. And especially what you may find in Frisco or Plano up in North Dallas. Now, a lot of people, whenever they reach out to us, they want to go to the North Dallas area. Not a lot of people are, are looking heavily in the South Dallas area, even uh, Midlothian. I would consider that could be the up and coming, you know, Frisco area of South Dallas. So what's going to happen is North Dallas is going to continually get built up. Let's uh, let's take a quick look at that and go back to the map. You'll see here it's almost the same distance Midlothian as compared to uh, Frisco when it comes to Dallas. So again, you know, you have all of this area up here, all this green space growth, actually all around Dallas. This is the thing is, like I said, this is why I believe it'll help keep prices in check in Dallas is because we're not waterlocked. You know, there's no ocean, there's no mountains around here. So we can continue to grow out out, out, out. We can actually go all the way up to Oklahoma. You can see you've got a straight shot all the way up in Sherman, you know, with uh, Texas Instruments building their whole new facility up there, $30 billion facility. It's going to spur a ton of growth up here in Sherman. So all of this is going to get closed in. Same thing down here with Midlothian. You kind of see it's kind of on the last piece of the major development as far as connectivity to Dallas. So when you come down 67, you know, you're pretty much running commercial the whole ways. It's, it's once you get past Midlothian, you start hitting this green area, which is a lot similar to Salina. As we've mentioned, Salina only has a population of about 30,000 now and is slated for the opportunity to grow to 300,000 is what they have in Salina, what they have zoned in uh, Salina up there. So that growth is going to happen up in Salina. Then you have Midlothian back down here. So if you're looking for opportunity, if you're looking for uh, some good deals and better pricing as well, and you don't mind being outside of the area as far as having access to, you know, the main staples of the city, which is just kind of like the nightlife and a little bit more things to do during the day, but you're still 
still a short drive away. I mean, you've got the Dallas Zoo right over here. You got Bishop Arts right up here. So that's going to be about a probably a 20 minute drive straight up there. You've got Joe Pool Lake right here, which we've talked about. If you haven't seen our Cedar Hill vlog, you could check that out. But you're just a hop, skip and a jump away from that. You can go to Cedar Hill State Park. You can go to the Cedar Ridge Reserve. So all of that is easy access. If you love the lake life, uh, by the way, we've got a video on the lake life as well. Then you're right there at Joe Pool Lake. You can see you got the State Park. You got Estes Park. You've got Lynn Creek Park. You've got Lloyd Park. You've got the preserve over here. Lots of hiking and biking and trails. These are some of my favorite trails to hit up over here off of Joe Pool Lake. Really, really good. Mountain Creek. I mean, this is another, the trails and elevation changes and things to do around here. On top of that, that's not too far from your backyard either. And then of course you ride up the road, you have the Six Flags, you have the Cowboy Stadium, you have the Ranger Stadium, all that just right up the road as well. So you're pretty centrally located and easily accessible to everything. There's so much to do in Arlington. These Six Flags right there, I mean, right up 360. You're not that far away. Look, if we did um, Six Flags just to show you how close you are if you want to take the kids one day and you got 20 miles. I mean, that's it. 20 miles, 23 minutes with no traffic. You get up early in the morning, you go hit it up. And of course, right around there is the Cowboy Stadium as well as Ranger Stadium up there too. So just another probably 10 minutes right up the road and you're good to go. So you really have, oh, that didn't even take you to Six Flags. I was wondering why that was off so much. So yeah, probably an extra five miles. So about 25 miles to get up there. But otherwise, you know, for being country town, which nothing wrong with that. I grew up in Stephenville. You can see if you take 67 from Midlothian, you'll see. Yep, there you go. So this is uh, one of the routes I used to always hit. 67 goes right into Stephenville, <laughs> right where I'm from. Look how small Stephenville is. Uh, all these little towns out here, way out in the country. Uh, but then I could take 67 all the way up to Dallas. This was one of the routes, not the fastest. You could also take 377 into Fort Worth and then go over to Dallas. This is the fastest way. You go up to 281 and hit 20 and then take 20 all the way to I-30 and then 30 over into Dallas. That's the fastest way. Doesn't look like it, but it is the fastest way to get to. Fun fact though, not that anybody cares about <laughs> Stephenville to Dallas, but overall, you know, Midlothian, a lot of new construction. And here's some more fun facts about Midlothian. So Midlothian has 14 parks in total. The population's around 37,000 right now. The home value on average, uh, 254,000, 80% of the residents own their home in the Midlothian area. And the annual income on average is around 95,000. Now, most all the schools on average are rated A plus in Midlothian. A little bit more about Midlothian schools is the quality of education in Midlothian has long been a driving force to attract families to the area. The district is considered a fast growth K through 12 public school district with more than 10,900 students and 1,350 employees. MISD has 14 campuses, two high schools, a CTE center, three middle schools, and eight elementary schools that include innovative learning environments of academic and vocational student interest. So that is uh, some of the overall stats of Midlothian, but my take on it is, is that if you want a little bit slower pace of life, you maybe have certifications or qualifications to work in factories, uh, such as the cement or the steel mills. That's a good opportunity if you're in the school system. I mean, over 1300 employees, there's probably plenty of opportunity there. If you're a teacher or principal or academic related profession over there as well. And Friday Night Lights is the real deal. So if you like sports, they've got a great football program there as well, right next door to Waxahachie. We used to play both of them in high school. I mean, I still do, but I'm just saying that I used to play those uh, those teams in high school. It was funny, our first state championship that Stephenville won, I wasn't part of that team, but the very first state championship that Stephenville won, played Waxahachie in the finals to get to the state championship. Waxahachie had been on a tear the last couple of years. Uh, they were state champions, really great football program. And I remember it came down to um, 21 to 20. So it was like one minute to go. And Waxahachie was up on his 21 to 14. We scored a touchdown the last minute. So made it 20, 21. And our coach, our coach called it two point conversion. He was like, not going for the tie. We're going for the win. And we converted that two point conversion. I still remember it to this day. I was there in the stands watching. It was amazing. Converted that and we won 22 to 21 to go on to the state championship and then ended up winning that. And that became the first state championship in Stephenville. I think they have uh, six or seven now at this point since 90, uh, 94, 93, 94 was the first two that they won. Pretty significant. Uh, yeah, six or seven 
seven state championships over the last 25, 30 years. So we're proud of the hometown, but yeah, Friday night lights, all the craze here in the Texas area. So if you got student athletes, I tell you what, you really, it's hard to go wrong anywhere in the Dallas area. <laughs> if you've got some student athletes, some great programs up here. And when you get into these areas like Midlothian and Waxahachie, where uh, it's a little bit more country, I mean, it's a lot bigger impact on the way of life there. But of course, amazing schools up in Frisco and Allen, some of the top uh, programs in the country, Highland Park, I mean, pretty extensive. You, you got your choices there. But if you like that slower pace of life and, you know, want to know everybody around town too, that's something else. Just be mindful of that. <laughs> if that's not your cup of tea, maybe somewhere where you can kind of blend in a little bit more. But otherwise, in Midlothian, you will get to know everyone around town, everyone in your community. You'll run into people in the same places. And, and that's just the way it is. And that's, you know, whenever I grew up, you couldn't you couldn't get around anywhere without running into somebody. And that also made you keep your nose clean, right? Because you did something wrong, you stood out like a sore thumb. But anyways, reminiscing on growing up here in Texas, it's a great way of life, especially for kids and sports. And I think just overall, great job economy here in the Dallas area. Everything's growing. And if you have questions, you're not sure what you want to do in this market. That's why we say just reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We're happy to help you make that smooth move. We just have to talk through your situation and see exactly what may fit best for you and your family. But again, that's what we're here for. Let's chit chat and give us a call. All the information is in the description below. And until next time, well, we hope to show you around town.